This is an audio recording of the consent form to participate in Kid Talk Language Scrapbooking for Science. Summary of what you are agreeing to for this study. Your participation is completely voluntary and you may stop participating at any time. Anonymous recordings, responses, and transcripts of you and your child's conversation will be shared with research databases. We store basic information such as birth month, birth year, and zip codes for research purposes, as well as email addresses for login. Below is the full text of your consent to participate. Statement of consent. Please check all that apply. This is optional. I will allow for. The first checkbox says, anonymous audio recordings of me and my child's conversation to be shared with research databases. The second checkbox says, anonymous transcripts of me and my child's conversation to be shared with publicly available research databases. The third checkbox says, anonymous audio recordings of my child's speech to be used in this app's say what game. The fourth checkbox says, anonymous responses to surveys about my family to be shared with other researchers. You can update your consent for all of these at any time by changing your privacy settings on the app. By using this app, you indicate that you are at least 18 years of age, you have read this consent form or have had it read to you, your questions have been answered to your satisfaction, you agree to have you and your child participate in this study, and you can see a copy of this consent form through the app at any time. Consent to participate. Project title, Kid Talk, Language Scrapbooking for Science. Purpose of the study. This research is being conducted by Professor Yi Ting Huang at the University of Maryland College Park and Professor Joshua Hartshorn at Boston College. We are studying how children's language learning is impacted by social disruptions from COVID-19. Procedures. You and your child will be asked to contribute information about your interactions using this scrapbooking app. For the next six months, we are asking thousands of families like yours to carry out the following tasks with about how long they take. Provide speech recordings, three to five times a week, about two minutes. Transcribe interactions into text, three to five times a week, about five minutes. Guess what children say in a game? One time a week, about five minutes. Answer questions about your family. Two times a week, about two minutes. Provide city slash state location of interactions. Three to five times a week, one minute. Over time, this app will build a scrapbook of your child's developing speech, which you can track and revisit. By measuring how speech changes across many children, we will better understand the impacts of COVID-19 policies on children's language learning environments and development. This study will last six months, but you can continue beyond this time point. You can do these tasks any number of times, including once. You can decide how your data will be shared. There is no payment for participation potential risks and discomforts. We do not anticipate any known risks to you or your child beyond those you would encounter in your everyday lives. All tasks are short, so they are unlikely to upset or bore. There is a risk of breach of confidentiality, but we take steps to mitigate this, described in confidentiality. Potential benefits. This study is not designed to help you personally. However, this app will make a scrapbook of your child's speech, which you can keep and may find rewarding. Results from this study may inform educators and policymakers and lead to policies to support families during social economic adversity. Confidentiality. Your data will be associated with an alphanumeric code, which will not be connected to you or your device. You and your child will never be identified by name. It is possible that someone could recognize your voice from audio recordings, but long-term experience suggests that this is unlikely. You can decide how your data can be shared. This refers to the checkboxes above. If you decide to stop sharing your data at any point, we will not share any new data or any data we have not yet shared. 
However, we are unable to remove already shared data from the public domain. Your child's information may be shared with representatives of the University of Maryland College Park or governmental authorities if your child or someone else is in danger or if we are required to do so by law. Right to withdraw and questions. Your participation is completely voluntary. You may stop participating at any time. If you have questions, concerns, or complaints, or if you need to report an injury related to the research, please contact the investigator, Yi Ting Huang at 301-405-4227 or Y-T-H-U-A-N-G one at umd.edu. Participant rights. If you have questions about your rights as a research participant or wish to report a research-related injury, please contact University of Maryland College Park Institutional Review Board Office, 1204 Marie Mount Hall, College Park, Maryland, 2074. Two. Email irb at umd.edu. Telephone 301-405-0678. For more information regarding participant rights, please visit www.research.umd.edu slash irb hyphen research hyphen participants. This research has been reviewed according to the University of Maryland College Park IRB procedures for research involving human subjects. By signing below and clicking I agree, you agree to the terms above. If you agree to the terms, sign the form by typing your name in the box and click I agree. Please note, your name is not stored and is only for signing purposes.